Oh, he's getting bobbed, dude. I think this is a 1v3 right now. Let's see what he does here. Yo, dude, you love to see the high ground retakes in pubs, man. Yo, what is up, my dudes? Welcome to the video. Today, we are reacting to the smoothest console player, one of the only pro controller players who still really is on console. It's honestly a rarity. I feel like once people hit a certain level of viewership, they buy themselves a sick gaming PC, and they either like switch to keyboard and mouse or stay on controller on PC. But Razer X is one of the only controller players left who's got an insane amount of subscribers. He's got 1.4 million subs on YouTube, and he's still going deep for you console homies, making videos on console, and really showcasing how far you can actually push, like the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, how far you can push it to the absolute limit with regard to controller building. Shout out to Matthew Steingrabber for recommending watching Razer X. I also want to watch him because he's on exponential settings, and I get a lot of questions from you guys asking, is exponential good for console as well? I personally use exponential on PC, on PC controller, so, I want to see what it looks like as an exponential player on console as well. If you guys are not already subscribed to Razer X, I'm going to drop his videos down below. I'm going to drop his link to his channel down below. You guys can click on it. Go hit that sub up. If you guys enjoy this type of content, don't forget to smash that like on it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys think I should react to next. And if you enjoy this content, make sure you smash that sub button. Appreciate it very much, guys. All right, I want to peep his settings because I honestly I'm wondering about going back to console maybe for a couple of videos. I do plan on picking up the PS5 when that finally drops and kind of switching back to console a bunch when that happens. Uh, so I'm curious what he's rocking. Okay, so he's on 1.2, 1.2 build and edit. That's really low build and edit sensitivity, but his base sensitivity is incredibly high. He's on 84% horizontal and 79% vertical. Honestly, it blows my mind that he's able to get this level of smoothness while using that. But one thing about it is he's using exponential settings. The difference between exponential and linear, exponential basically means that as you input on your controller, on your joystick, it starts slow and then it picks up speed. Whereas if you use linear, it's immediate raw joystick input. For that reason, linear can be really flicky, but exponential kind of smooths out your aim as you're tracking onto people. So that's probably how he's able to deal with using such a high sensitivity. Smooth King is back. Yo, this is nuts. <laughs> So I haven't reacted to Razor X in like a year. I haven't watched too much of his gameplay. He's still doing a little bit of EJ dashing, even though those don't really boost you the same level of uh, of distance anymore. You notice he's not really doing a lot of like flicks all over the screen, but what he's doing is tracking players incredibly consistently through their builds, man. It's so nuts. And these high ground retakes are sick, dude. How does he keep track of where people are in his build so well, dude? Like, that's the one thing. It's like he's always on their head. You know, as he's making these edits, as he's making these plays, he's always... His reticle is exactly where the player is. It's honestly one of the most important skills in Fortnite is really great crosshair placement. So that way, as you're going to get the shot on somebody, your reticle is already on the person, and you don't need to make huge adjustments. You just shoot, bop. Exactly. That's a perfect example. Literally right there, dude. What the heck? So he's got really great flow. He does play on, on console, which has a lot of input delay added to it. But he is on, I, I think, like pretty low ping. Right there in that last clip, it said he was on zero ping. That clip there, it's like 10 to 15. So that's going to help him with a little bit of the input lag. But man, this is crazy smooth, bro. This is like so impressive to watch. I feel like this building style is... It got popular for like a little bit. And I feel like I haven't seen as many like smooth console builders anymore but this is crack bro like he just absolutely flows and then his crosshair placement is key dude like it's actually so clean and it makes his clip so clean all right so he has some pubs gameplay so we're gonna try and figure out like how he's actually able to use that crosshair placement in pubs so effectively right here out of mats he's see one thing he does right there I know it's a little bit of a scramble play because he's got no materials left, but he's trying to pre-line up angles before he actually jumps into them. Dude, this, this engagement is such a mess right now, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Whole building's on fire, man. That guy's peppered out of his mind. That was an insane flick. Bro, what is this? Everybody's got a hunting rifle, man. 
Dudes, it looks like his reticle is really sticky. Is the aim assist that strong on console? Or is his aim just that goaded, man? Because it looks, it looks like he's just locking into kids, man. It's crazy. I mean, that is the one thing about exponential. Because you're, you're not getting near as much, like, flickiness versus using linear, you're able to get it almost looking like you're locking into your target, which is pretty sick, dude. And I feel like that cannot be underrated. Again, just bopping kids in the head, dude. What is this lobby right now, man? He's actually cleaning these kids up, dude. Dude, that tracking is nuts! Bro, his sensitivity is like so high, but as soon as he's on to people, he's absolutely dumpstering them, man. What is going on here? And he's doing all this. He's got 13 kills in Frenzy, 30 still up, and he's at, he's got no mats like the whole time, dude. To be fair, some of those kids at the start of this game just look totally lost, but... Bro, that tracking! What?! Chat, I've not played controller on console in a minute. Is aim assist this good? I, I feel like it's probably not. I feel like... Razor's tracking has got to be just next level, dude. It's mind-blowing to me he's playing on such a high sense, though. And he's playing with low input lag, or like, sorry, high input lag, because it's console gameplay. And he's able to get this level of tracking and this level of, like, aim, bro? Like, that's so difficult. I think there's two kids in this box right now. So see what he does right there? He edits it, he gets behind the ramp so that he can pre-line up the shot and then he jumps and takes the shot right there. Got a little messy in the end. Well, that's what he's doing right there. So again, trying to go for the jump play. That's an advantage of using claw grip, man, when you're playing on controller. Either claw grip or paddles. If you make a jump up, like, you can keep your thumb on your joystick and get the bop in. Bro, this tracking is just insane. I don't know how he's how he knows where the player is before he shoots, bro. Like, to me, that whole aspect of it is just disgusting. Yo, he's got 19 kills. Can he drop a 30 here? Alright, these poor kids are lost. Also, I think that's the first time I've seen a red reticle before. I don't think you get that on controller on PC. Is that like a console only thing? Dude, this kid was just running the whole time. <laughs> 26 headshot, yellow damage point blank. Man, they gotta buff the tag, bro. It's so bad. I'm really hoping that we, we only have like 10 days left until next season of Fortnite. I really hope we get better shotguns next season, dude. Because this shotgun meta is just so, so stinky, dude. I, like, I, I hate the current state of shotguns in Fortnite. Still love playing the game. I thought this season was great with regards to the map. But, dude, this, the, the shotguns stink, man. They're so bad. Nice low pad to keep the... Uh, Momentum up. That guy has the best aim in the game. <laughs> Not a single tag was had today. Bro. Man, it almost looks like Razor's just moving at a faster speed than the other players he's fighting. Like, no joke. Like, not even just, like, his editing speed. I mean, like, raw ability to move around. He just looks faster, bro. It's crazy. 23 kills. Chilling. I believe this is siphon mode. So this is an LTM. I think I actually missed this when they dropped it in game. Which kind of makes me sad. Oh, I'll get the beams, dude. 
Man, he is absolutely tracking this kid, dude. Man, this makes me want to try console out again. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm going to probably get on console and be absolutely terrible. <laughs> but it makes me want to try it out again, dude. It looks like... It looks like really clean tracking on here. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's getting bopped, dude. I think this is a 1v3 right now. Let's see what he does here. <laughs> Yo, dude, you'd love to see the high ground retakes in pubs, man. Oh my god. The one thing is with Siphon, he needs to get kills in order to get his health back. Yo, those are some fast cones, my dude. Oof. It's a tight angle. Nice kill, nice kill. Yeah, so it's Siphon mode. I think he might have one more downed. Yeah. Dude, what a monster, man. Oh my god, bro. He just manhandled those kids. I uh, Dude, that's the highest... I think that might be the highest kill game I've seen in this, this season, dude. That's actually cracked. I don't know, man. I found Razor like a year ago. I thought he was one of the smoothest looking builders I've ever seen. Honestly, he really looks like that still, dude, to this day. I don't think there's a console player who's smoother than him. But if you think there is, guys, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like on it. Turn that like blue. Helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. You can hit that sub, and you can have an absolutely fantastic day. Appreciate you.